guys, this is Mark and you're watching Marcus Fear. On today's vlog, I would be discussing regarding Beast Fighters on Valdas 5 Universe. Let's watch a clip from Valdas 5 Legacy's director, Mark Reyes. So, what you expect na ay pag ano pinanood namin ng cinema, hindi na kami marunong tip. Ang dami pa. Ang dami niyo pang papanood, ang dami pang revelation. Uh, out of 16 Beast Fighters, dalawa lang makikita niyo sa cinema experience. So, yo. There you go. Before we start, what are Beast Fighters? Well, Beast Fighters are the kaiju of the mecha anime Voltas 5. The kaiju are called Beast Fighters and are sent out by the Buzanians. They would usually be destroyed by the finisher V Slash by Voltas 5. To give you the numbers, there are a total of 26 normal Beast Fighters and 6 of them have multiple forms. Either it transforms into another or combines with another Beast Fighter. And the Armored Beast Fighters, on the other hand, is 15. Starting at episode 24, the Beast Fighters were given high indestructical armor called Mazingal Alloy and were referred to as Armored Beast Fighter afterwards. In order to destroy them, Valtus 5 has to use Super Electromagnetic Ball to weaken their armor while holding them in place. All in all, the total Beast Fighters in the anime is 41, making up most of the episodes with Beast Fighters. But on the live action, it was announced by direct Mark Reyes that we would be getting 16 Beast Fighters in span of 80 episodes. So far, from what we have seen from the footages or seen from the live action, is 6. So, start na natin and let's go with number 1. First is Dokugaga. Dokugaga, as you can see, is a moth-like robotic creature. While on the anime, it looks like a biomechanical beast fighter. But here, on the live action, it looks like a mechanized one. Dokugaga is an iconic beast fighter because as it's shown on the anime, it is the first beast fighter that Voltas 5 encountered. Let's go with number 2, Bizinga. Bizinga is a miniature-like beast fighter and it is one of the most memorable beast fighter because as it's shown on the anime, he is the reason why Mrs. Armstrong died and sacrificed her life for her children. Okay, let's go to the next one. The third one is Dainigo. Dainigo is known to have two separate forms and combines into one, Daigo and Nigu. The episode is also known to have a two beast fighter, Daiga and Nigu, that was sent by Prince Zardas. The beast fighter was introduced in an episode that explored Little John's interest and skills with battleship models of okay, its Gamenza. Gamenza has appeared in an episode after another beast fighter, Namazungo. Namazungo is a beast fighter, yes, a very well known and well loved by fans for disrupting the vault in sequence of the vault machines. Let's go with number five. Number five is Gardo. Yes, Gardo, as you can see, is a sword expert beast fighter. As you can see from the anime version, you would see there a more like an organic beast fighter. A fighter using sword, but here on the live action, you would see here like an armored one. It's like a mechanized one, but of course, we'll have to wait for it to be shown on TV. Well. On the episode that Gardo appeared, it is one of the most pivotal one on the series because Steve, after in controlling Volus 5 to do the butterfly return technique, which is taught by Big Bird. Let's go with number 6. It is Shogushin Godor. Or at least what we have seen is the fallen hand of the Beast Fighter, which is known as the last Beast Fighter on the series. On the episode, it is memorable because of Steve and Prince Zardos having a sword fight and knowing and the reveal of Prince Zardos' lost family. Well, that's all for now for what we have seen so far. These are the beast fighters that we are sure to appear on Voltas 5 Legacy. There are also some discussions wherein the most likely hinted to appear are the following. One is Bombos, the X-Ray Dragonfly Beast Fighter. Next is Namazungo, as we have seen a glimpse of Gamenza. Namazungo's appearance is one of the most exciting fights that happened 
as this was a big struggle for the vault machine to transform. Now we're going to read some posts and comments regarding the Beast Fighters from the live action. So after the New Year's Eve, one posted this and garnered 473 comments and 269 shares. The photo here has the comparison from the anime and the live action. And it got Dokugaga, Baizanga, Dainigu, and Gardo. Okay, let's read some comments from here. Ang galing ng pagkakagawa nila kay Gardo dito sa Votus 5 Legacy. Yung sa anime kasi medyo human texture. Kaya iniba nila dito talagang mechanized siya kasi nga robot dapat. Galing! Oo, tapos samurai. Samurai style pa yung armor bagay kay Gardo. Kaya pala di familiar yung samurai sa akin sa VVL. Yun pala si Gardo. Yung mas mechanized siya. Kaya ang galing talaga. You see? These people knows how to appreciate. Nakatuwa, di ba? May kita mo talaga dito yung passion ng mga gumawa, ng mga nag-design. And dito palang panalong-panalo na. At approved talaga sa marami. The next comment. Yung Beast Fighter na Mazukan for me is the best episode. Ginamit doon ang Ultra Marcon na imbensyon ni Dr. Smith. And if my memory serves me right, doon nagsimula ang Ultra Electromagnetic Ball. Di sila makapag-volt in dahil may electromagnetic field sa noo ng hito na pangontra sa magnetic volt machine. Well, para sa akin, same kami. Ito rin ang isa sa favorite episode ko sa series. Next comment. Kaya pala na-extend ang launching dahil dito sa improvements na to. Dati natawa ko sa trailer. Ngayon, wow na wow na. Kudos sa local animators at graphic artists natin. Good job. Next comment. Actually, the designs were chosen by Toei. Modern times call for modern iterations of the designs. Maganda yung classic designs. But when they added a modern twist to make the design more functional, mas gumanda siya. Kasi, let's face it, the original boxy design does not allow much articulation for both Voltas 5 and the Buzanian Beast 5. And since Toei Japan din naman ang nag-decide, for the designs, I won't argue with them because they are also trying to get kids now to like Voltas 5 as well. If we stick to the old design, eh baka di magustuhan ng mga bata ngayon since namulat sila sa modern mecha design. Tama, may punto nga naman. Isa sa mga reasons kaya dapat i-welcome natin yung mga pagbabagong ito. Yung mga improvements ba? Tama ba? Let's go with another comment. Sana makalaban din nila ito. Tulad ng na-mention ko kanina, siya si Nema Zuko or Romano sa Tagalog dub sa Voltas 5, episode 10. O, ba? Ang tagal na ng Voltas 5 pero naalala pa nila. Or, baka naman nag-review sila. Kapapanood lang nila nung animation. Let's proceed with the most recent post. Ang sabi, 16 Beast Fighters for 80 episodes. Baka more than one encounter daw kada Beast Fighter. Unang encounter, talo ang Voltas team, then bawi po sa next. Ala Godzilla the series. Well, para sa akin ha, most likely siguro may stretch talaga yung mga episodes. Lalong lalo na sa mga subplot. But in terms of fight scenes, malalaman natin pagka-ere. Pero possible, kahit sa anime rin naman eh, merong times rin naman na natatalo rin si Voltas 5 and they have to fight back and doon na sila na nananalo. So, basahin natin yung mga comments na nandun sa post na yun. Pinili lang yung mga Beast Fighters sa may interesting na side story. Oo, kasi paulit-ulit lang naman yun. Siyempre, sigurado kasama dyan yung pumatay sa nanay nila. Kay Dr. Smith, yung hindi sila makapag-vote in, yung Buzanian Warrior, sa kamalamang karamihan ay yung mga Beast Fighter ni General Oslap. Which is true, di ba? Eh, marami rin namang repetitive ng mga Beast Fighters. Kaya siguro, pili rin talaga. The next comment, sabi, simple lang math nyan. One Beast Fighter, one week nilang kalaban yan. With all the side stories. 80 over 16 is 5. So, cinematic experience, it was two Beast Fighters for the first three weeks. So, yun pa lang ha. May kita mo na may hint na doon kung, kung bakit 16 Beast Fighters lang ang meron sa Voltas 5 Legacy. And I cannot complain no, kasi after all maganda naman yung remake. Eh kung maganda rin naman ang pagkakatahin ng subplot, hindi mo na rin mapapansin yun, ba? And even before, diba, parang ang balita ko pa nga dati, parang once a week ata pinapalabas yung Voltas 5. Kung iisipin mo, sa isang episode before, merong isang Beast Fighter. 
Parang same din before, na once a week yung episode ng Voltas 5. But then, for the live action, expanded into 5 episodes compared before na 1 episode per week. Next comment. Sayang maganda sana kung lahat ng Beast Fighters may pakita. Kaso, 16 lang talaga. Anyway, proud pa rin. Ito yung sinasabi ko. Dapat maging appreciative tayo kasi ang Voltas 5 Legacy nasa free TV. And the fact na talagang pinaggastosan siya, pinaghandaan siya, hindi nila basta-basta pinili ang 16 Beast Fighters na to para magkaroon lang ng bakbakan sa television. Siyempre, kailangan maganda yung tahin nito sa kwento. Dapat meron talaga siyang impact sa bawat arcs na ipapakita sa palabas. So, to wrap it up, the following that we have seen so far from the AVP, the Mega Teaser, the Cinematic Experience are six. It's Dokugaga, Baizenga, Dainigu, Gardo, Gamenza, and Shugoshin Gotor. Before we end this video, I would like to say thank you for all those people who have followed me till the end. And if you have feedbacks, inquiries, or questions, you can just comment down below. Babasahin ko po lahat yun. Discuss naman natin sa comment section. Which Beast Fighter is most memorable to you? Alin yung mas nagtatak sa'yo nung pinanood mo yung Voltas 5 sa anime? Ano ba yung inaasahan ninyong Beast Fighters na ipapakita sa 80 episodes? Kasi 16 lang yon. Alin sa team ninyo yung gusto nyong makita? And ano masasabi ninyo sa mga Beast Fighters na pinakita pa lang so far. Again, I will respond as soon as I can. Don't forget to like this video kung talaga nga namang nagustuhan nyo ito. And subscribe for you to follow more on my videos. Well, that's it for now. See you on the next one. Have a great day!